running is, you know, physical, obviously, but it's also a huge mental game. A huge mental game. If you're not there mentally, that is going to catch up with you very quickly. You know, the, when you train for for races or for tra for running for triathlon for anything for what's to come, the season kind of it's a cycle, right? Every bit of time that you're putting into training in whatever part of the cycle you're in, you know, kind of impacts what you will be kind of, kind of come race day. And I had known over the last, you know, whatever year, the last cycle that of training that I just gone through, it was like, I've, I've prepared myself to be this person to do these things and to be this person come race day. And now I will not get to show that. The first I had heard of COVID in Hamilton was that the case that they had at Jurovinsky. So once we had heard about that case, um, things got real and they got scary really fast. So we even, you know, working in an operating room for us in the OR, it meant stopping surgery, um, preparing to use potentially the ORs as um, rooms for COVID patients because of the ventilators that we have in the OR. Um, it was it was a bit of a disheartening time just because we're, we're here to help them. That's what we do in surgery. Uh, you know, we give them their life back. And as they're recovering, you know, God forbid they catch COVID or something. Um, so we were trying to prevent that as well. And um, it was just, it was a very fine balance. And I think it was a very difficult one at first to learn how to navigate, you know, what the health system was um, preparing for, embracing for. At the end of a hard day, um, there, I, there are some days that I get through and, and I feel like I, I couldn't do anything more. And the first thing I do want to do once I get home is just go for a run. It's a time to reflect. It's a time to think. Um, it's a time to just kind of escape what might be bothering you. It's, it's an outlet for me. Um, and I mean, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to be doing anything else after, you know, my shifts. It was just got to get through the shift, get home, go for a run, and, and I'll feel better. Early on, I just remember I was in the build for the Around the Bay, and I was super excited for that. I was so ready to race like I was in the best running shape I could have been in in a long time and I remember hearing about the threat of cancellations happening we can't gather in groups and I remember the bay race saying um you know we, we think we can still do this but we'll keep we'll keep you in the loop and th at that point I realized you know I, I've I've lost a whole season um what what can what can I do now to kind of refocus uh, as people kind of lost motivation and I was losing motivation um and this is kind of where um, virtual racing came into into play and so I just signed myself up for I think as many of those as I could through the summer um, to keep myself motivated um, and feel like I had some sort of a competitive racing season um, and, and that I think greatly helped me stay started. motivated as well. Um. I struggle a bit when I think back to it, but um, this downtime was needed. Clearly my body was needing it uh, based on kind of what I went through with my injury. I go back to the idea of what can I still control and what am I still able to do and kind of let's do that. It's so easy for us to get caught up in that negative um, and to have people there kind of surrounding you, reminding you that there is these positives and you know I kind of realize that the, these people are huge positives in my life. Do I think people can do things, scary things alone? Absolutely. Um, but who wants to? You know, who wants to do these things alone when you have the people to to do it with and who enjoy doing it too. Why would you not want to enjoy those things kind of with them? That's why we have friends, that's why we have family. And that's what that's what these people become. They become family. <laughs> they, they become, you know, what is close to you and and they they never leave. <laughs> so 